Adam, let me uh, turn to something else. You, you, you do a lot of writing, apparently. Here's something else. You wrote a column on Frank uh, Motino, a colleague of Illinois uh, House Speaker Mike Madigan, appointed to replace the state's longtime auditor general. Uh, that's A lot of people don't know what the heck that is, but it's sort of like a, uh, a watchdog for the state overseeing how money is spent. But that is a job all about uh, integrity and honesty. But this guy, Motino, he's in trouble right now. Right, so back in January, he was 10 days into a 10-year term. There are two Illinois constitutional officers with subpoena power. One is Michael Madigan's daughter, Lisa Madigan. The other one is now Michael Madigan's se former second lieutenant of the Illinois House, Frank Montino. So we looked into him, and what we found was a half a million dollars out of his former campaign fund worth of odd transactions. There can be no answers to this to justify Frank Montino as the top auditor in the state of Illinois. You know, if we are the number one most corrupt state in the country, we deserve an auditor with the utmost of integrity. And with this, and we're proud to say that our, our findings have resonated all the way into the federal law enforcement apparatus, where Frank Montino the other day pled the Fifth Amendment in front of the Illinois State Board of Elections. He's admitted to being under federal grand jury and federal subpoena. Well, Republicans would like to see him take an unpaid leave of absence. Any chance that would happen? Well, I, I, I certainly hope that he resigns his office. And, you know, it's been six months now, Bill, and without any answers, this is the next Illinois constitutional crisis. It's certainly the next Illinois corruption crisis. Okay, do you have any follow-ups coming out soon? Are you, you're clearly well, watching was, this I case. I the first one in, in the state of Illinois right out of the blocks in January in an editorial of the Daily Herald to call for his resignation. I don't think there's any good answers here. I don't think this ends very well for Frank Montino, and he... He should, uh, he should uh, resign his office. Adam Andrzejewski with OpenTheBooks.com. Adam, thank you so much. Thank you.